Sonia Sotomayor, My Beloved World. In the book, My Beloved World, Sonia Sotomayor shares her captivating journey from a challenging childhood in the Bronx to her groundbreaking role as a U.S. Supreme Court justice. The summary highlights her early life, struggles with adversity, and the transformative power of resilience, perseverance, and embracing help from others. The book tackles various themes such as family dynamics, personal growth, and the impact of prejudice and bias on academic and professional life. The story showcases Sotomayor's extraordinary achievements despite numerous obstacles, providing an inspiring message for readers from all walks of life. Sonia Sotomayor's Early Life Struggles Sonia Sotomayor, born in 1954 into a Puerto Rican community in the Bronx, faced numerous challenges growing up. Her father's alcoholism and her diagnosis of juvenile diabetes meant she had to learn to be self-reliant from a young age. Despite her father's struggles, she still cared for him, and their trips to the grocery store were the highlight of her week. To avoid her parents' arguments, Sotomayor's mother worked nights and weekends as a nurse. Sotomayor taught herself how to administer insulin shots by practicing on an orange, which gave her a powerful sense of self-reliance. The discipline, perseverance, and independence that she developed during her childhood served her well in academic success throughout her school years. Despite her challenging upbringing, Sotomayor went on to become an accomplished lawyer and judge. Overcoming Adversity, The Inspiring Journey of Sonia Sotomayor After her father's death, Sonia Sotomayor's mother began speaking English at home, inspiring Sonia to take a greater interest in her studies. Seeking help from her classmates, she learned valuable study strategies. She became fiercely determined to excel in school and extracurricular activities, developing skills of persuasion and analytical thinking through debating. With several gold stars and A's, she dreamed of becoming a lawyer or judge. In this book summary, we learn about the inspiring journey of Sonia Sotomayor, the first Hispanic and third female justice of the United States Supreme Court. Sotomayor's father died when she was just nine years old, but her mother's determination to support her family by speaking English at home inspired Sotomayor to take a greater interest in her studies. Seeking advice from her classmates on how to study effectively, Sotomayor learned valuable strategies that dramatically improved her academic performance. Sotomayor became fiercely determined to excel, earning gold stars and A's in school, and shining in extracurricular activities such as the debate club. Through debating, she developed critical skills of persuasion and analytical thinking, further fueling her dreams of becoming a lawyer or judge. This book summary shows how, despite facing adversity, Sonia Sotomayor's determination and perseverance allowed her to achieve greatness and become a role model for many. Sotomayor struggles with prejudice. After getting accepted into several Ivy League schools, including Princeton, Sonia Sotomayor noticed a shift in the way people treated her. Despite her academic success, she faced bias and prejudice from her classmates and alumni. However, she persevered and joined advocacy groups on campus to help underprivileged students. Even with numerous achievements, Sotomayor continued to struggle with prejudice in academia during her graduate studies. Sotomayor's Fight Against Discrimination at Yale Law School After facing discrimination during a job interview, Sonia Sotomayor filed a formal complaint against Yale Law School's anti-discrimination policies. Her actions were met with both criticism and support, leading to a public dialogue about the experiences of minorities at Yale. Despite the challenges, Sotomayor continued to excel and even wrote a powerful article about Puerto Rican politics and independence that was published in the prestigious Yale Law Journal. Sotomayor found a mentor in Jose Cabrains, who inspired her to straddle the realms of academia, law, and activism in her career. Sotomayor's Path to Purpose after graduating from Yale Law School, Sonia Sotomayor chose to pursue a career in the public sector at the New York District Attorney's Office. This gave her unique courtroom experience and responsibility, leading to impressive conviction streaks. Her work at the DA's office taught her the importance of fairness and humanity, 
and she developed a deeper sense of purpose. This purpose helped her push through challenges and stay connected to her community. Her story stands as a reminder of the valuable opportunities we have to help others. The Power of Resilience Growing up, Sonia Sotomayor and her cousin Nelson were inseparable. Despite their different upbringings, Nelson appeared to be the stronger and wiser of the two. Tragically, he died of a heroin overdose before his 30th birthday. Sotomayor's tough childhood and the lessons she learned about resilience and perseverance eventually helped her to rise above difficult times. Her passion for serving the community, asking for help, and valuing relationships allowed her to overcome various challenges in her life. These challenges include cultural shock at Princeton, lodging complaints against a racist recruiter while at Yale, getting divorced, and dealing with the pressures of working as a district attorney. Sotomayor learned how to value relationships, such as with her grandmother, who taught her about the joy of generosity and care. Sotomayor's Friendship Network Sotomayor's journey to becoming a U.S. Supreme Court justice was paved by a supportive network of friends and co-workers who encouraged and lobbied for her. After her stint at the DA's office, Sotomayor worked for Pavia and Harcourt. With encouragements from David Botwinick and support from other co-workers, Sotomayor applied for the position of federal district court judge at just 36, which she eventually secured. Her confirmation by the U.S. Senate was aided by former colleagues, mentors, and members of Latino organizations that she had been part of. Throughout her early years of adversity, Sotomayor's network of friends has helped her become a compassionate, generous, and determined person today. Sonia Sotomayor's My Beloved World is a testament to the indomitable human spirit and the power of resilience, self-reliance, and a strong support network. The overarching message demonstrates how embracing personal challenges and having steadfast determination enabled Sotomayor to achieve unprecedented academic and professional success despite adversities. Her commitment to giving back to her community and taking on judiciary roles that directly impact people's lives reveals her deep sense of purpose and empathy. In essence, Sotomayor's journey serves as a source of inspiration and motivation for readers to recognize the power within themselves and to make a meaningful difference in their own lives as well as the lives of others.